welcome to another episode today we will see some small stories about uh, tension this is from uh, swami sugabodhananda's mind relax please book we all get tensed up on many things mostly small things so he illustrates a few incident or story the first one is a famous story which you might have heard so there were three professors on the railway station and uh, the train was about to start they were talking for a very long time discussing so many things and two of them got into the train when the train started moving and uh, one was left behind so he was so tensed up and uh, he was running here and there and one rail junior rail the official who was on the platform he told don't worry there is another train in 10 15 minutes you can catch that train and go along with the, your friends reach that place in another 10 15 minutes that that's not a problem but the professor said the, the issue is not that actually i am the one who is supposed to go in that train and those two professors are my colleagues who came to see me off and uh, we were discussing things so many things that we did not notice the that train is about to start so when it started in the tension the two professors who came to send me out got into the train and i was left behind this is how we behave when we are tensed up mind should be clear to make a decision but when there is tension it is clouded up mind becomes dark mind becomes half a sort so next incident uh, he talks about uh, three drunkards who were uh, having a good drink in the bar and uh, they started their party late in the evening and it was pitch dark when they came back and uh, they had to cross a river it was late in the night late past the midnight they had to cross a river they came by a boat and which was tied to the tree they came somehow found that place came to the place and began began rowing they were sitting there and rowing for a, quite a long time hours went by they were not reaching the other shore it is quite short 5 10 minutes of rowing maybe 10 miles but for hours they were rowing and they did not reach the other shore they were a bit worried they were rowing for 2 3 hours and the dawn was breaking the sun came up slowly and then they discovered that they have not untied the rope they were standing where they were the boat was in the shore they were it never did move so that is the how the tension works we forgot we forget small things which are key to solving the problem the problems may be small but due to tension 
we forgot these things. And Swami Ji illustrates by another example. A king was going to appoint a minister in important ministerial post and he was conducting a test. And three people came who were good in mathematics because the king has told a box has to be opened and in that he has put a lock which had a mathematical puzzle. If you solve the puzzle, the problem, then only you can open the lock. No clue was given. So three leading mathematicians came and uh, they were allowed to have a glimpse of the lock and one evening and the next day is the competition day when they were supposed to open the lock. Two of the leading mathematicians went to their resting place, guest house, where king has allocated a guest house for all these people, these three people. And the two poured over all the documents, all the difficult mathematical problems and solutions. They burned their midnight soil. They slept very few hours. They somehow wanted to solve the problem because they, they can become a minister. The third one looked at a few books, had his evening walk, good meal, dinner and slept peacefully. The morning came, all the three went to the king's court and the first one tried to open it. He could not understand any formula which would open the clock. So he failed. The second one had a similar fate. He could not open it. But the third one, the person who was calm, he came there. He looked at the box intently. Then he opened it. Opened the box immediately, without any fuss. Because the box was never locked. The lock was kept open. The other people did not even notice that. But this man was calm. He noticed there was there is a lock, but it was not locked. He just had to open it. Remove the lock and open it. King made him the minister. He said, yes, all the three people are killed. I know that. You have the requirement of making good decisions, analytical skills. You are good mathematicians. But calmness is required to make a right decision. And you have calm and you made the right decision. You found out that the lock was not locked at all. It was open. And you found that. If you had the skill and if you can't see the solution, then there is no use of becoming a minister. That is what the king said. So we understand how important to be calm. So that is a story from Zen Buddhism. And uh, so, thoughts will come and go. We try to see the end. And we get dead stuff when it does not happen immediately and everything takes time. Calmly observe the things. Let the thoughts come and go. But carry out your job calmly and things will get done. Don't get tensed up. 
so with this we will end this episode with some small stories we had seen how pension is back and this is from swami subodhananda mind relax please stay with me for another episode subscribe to my channel share this video thank you